Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and as you'll have seen by the title, today I'm going to be playing with the Oracle palette. This is from Spellbound Beauty. Um, Spellbound Beauty is a US indie brand and uh, look at the packaging, absolutely gorgeous. And then this is a colour story. Um, I will pop the swatches up here quickly so I did swatch it out and uh, yeah you can see and I do have hard pan in three is it four of the shimmers and I did go in with a brush afterwards um, and this one did pick up on the brush um, but yeah just something to note um, obviously I haven't tried them on my eyes as yet so I am going to now hand you on over to uh, the looks okay guys so I've primed my left eye ready to start if I'm talking funny I do apologize somehow in the night I managed to bite my tongue and it is a big lump that's really sore so uh, apologies Um also if you can hear the fan going it is so hot here again today so yeah I, I couldn't bear it without the fan so let's first um, I'm going to be doing two completely different looks one on this side and one on this side so starting with this side I'm going to go into the Emperor which is the black mattes and I'm going to use a Spectrum A12 so I couldn't find much information about this brand at all i did have a look they do have an etsy shop so it's not a website as yet so i'm guessing it is pretty new um but yeah i couldn't find much at all um so yeah i, I don't have much i can tell you about the brand i do know they're cruelty free and so on the Etsy shop, including this palette, there are five eyeshadow palettes and then they have a liquid matte lipstick and I believe, from what I can see, it comes in eight colours. So I'm guessing they're pretty new. But as soon as I saw this palette, I got it. I have had it for a while. Um, trying to think when I got it it's been a while so this black is building up beautifully it's not the blackest of blacks but that's okay it's black enough no it's not patchy or anything like that so I'm going to drag that along my crease a bit so I just want that to kind of show up above my crease I'm going to do it with my eye open my eye I use I use it I did this um with another palette where I did two looks one on each eye and I had good feedback from it and um, I also found it really fun so yeah I thought I'd give it another go if you are liking this style of video please do let me know um, I would love to be able to do like a multiple looks video with completely different whole looks um however at the moment i am in pain so much i don't get to film anywhere near as much as i would like to so yeah hopefully you guys like this or it's enough to be okay all right so just 
and make sure it's completely deep and dark inside and on the crease there. This is pretty and I'm just going to wipe off the brush and then I'm just going to just feather the edges slightly well, this seems really 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 easy to work with I'm just making sure that it does connect up with the lower lash line. I won't be doing that obviously until I've done my base. But just make sure that is there. Now this is blending really nicely. I'm not having any issues at all. Right, anything down here I can clean up. In a moment. And then just deepen it up on the very inside. Ooh. Okay, that is looking pretty good. So I'm going to next go into the Wheel of Fortune and I'm going in using a Jessup 223 Petit Eye Blender and I'm going to be taking this right on the edge of that black. Oh, this is very pigmented. I'm just blending this one as I go a bit more just because yeah I wasn't expecting that much pigment I'm not complaining I just wasn't expecting it oh I am obsessed this is going to be amazing for Halloween look I am going to take it like blend it out right up to the brow because this one I don't think I'm going to be wanting a brow bone highlight. I'm just making sure that I build up the intensity of this blue kind of inside more but not going near with I've blended the edges if that makes sense and then just slowly kind of blending out into the blended bit Ooh, okay and then dipping back into the black emperor I'm going to kind of re-intensify and then slowly blend it out into the Wheel of Fortune, the blue map. I first re-intensify and then I'm going to just gently blend it into the blue. I'm doing it just a bit at a time because I don't want to kind of go overboard and take away the blue because I am loving it. Okay, and then back in with the Wheel of Fortune just a little bit at a time. There we go. Oh, 
that is looking amazing so i've cleaned my eye up a little bit i'm going to pop on some nyx glitter primer and then we will go in with shimmers but to remember i'm only doing one eye i'm not being overly precise just like that and then what shimmer do i want to use so i am going into the empress the red shimmer i'm so excited to try this now, just to note this is one of the shimmers that did swatch beautifully i'm not being too too careful um about fallout or anything because obviously i haven't done my base yet so i had intended initially to go with like the blue and the green but the shimmer has been calling my name It is very pretty. Ooh, okay. Looking a little crazy, but ah, who cares? So just going back into the black, the Emperor. And I'm just going to take that right in the outer part here and just feather it into the red. And I am going to take just a tiny bit of the black and I'm going to run it over just the very edge of the shimmer there just want it to look a bit smoky okay that is looking good i'm just going to take the brush that used with the red shimmer and just assist that blend there Ooh, okay so look number one Ooh. okay so I'm going to nip off clean up prime eye number two and then I'll be back to continue okay so cleaned up I primed and the first shade I'm going in with is the star and I'm taking that on. Did I say all the brushes I used? No. The, <laughs> the brush I used for the red shimmer was just a Morphe flat rounded brush that has no name. So, going into the star with a Spectrum A12. And, ooh, she has some decent pigment too. Ooh, okay there's something I'm definitely noticing with these mats they are super super pigmented yeah this is nice I do love this kind of purple 
and again I am terrible at describing colours so hopefully it's showing true to colour on the camera so that you can see what I mean I'm taking it on the very outer edge of the lid and then through the crease I've already been softening the edges kind of as I'm doing it just to make it easier oh this is lovely I'm definitely loving these mattes obviously we've only tried the one shimmer which I'd say is more of your regular shimmer formula but super pretty nonetheless uh, this side I just want to create more of a kind of more airy fairy fun look maybe not quite so airy fairy because uh, bright bright fairy look Oh, Steph. So again, just building up the intensity on the inner most part. If I do need to deepen, I can add a touch of black. So uh, I do love to have a black in a palette for that reason and all right stop rolling off so there <laughs> crikey so to blend that out or to blend around the edge of it i'm going in with strength which is the bright bright pink and i'm going in on a another spectrum a12 and remembering to go on the right eye so this I'm being a little bit more cautious than I was with the blue because I am now well aware of how pigmented these shades are. So for this side I am feathering it down there. And this colour is beautiful. I'm wondering if my inspiration for this look was the Cheshire Cat and just constantly looking at those palettes. I'm super excited. Right now we are playing with this beauty and I do believe the shade names are based off of tarot cards from what I gather. We'll see if any of you know otherwise please do correct me uh, I didn't have much to go on unfortunately I really do want to know more about this brand I might have to pop them an email and then maybe I can do another look with this palette with an update on what I know about the brand maybe and then going back into the star, the purple, and going into the crease and then blending up and out. I don't want to kind of rush the blend because you can just end up with a big mess. So I do still want both colours to really show up. Yeah, just taking this really steadily, like packing it on the inner crease and outer lid. And then blending up and out. I am holding the brush closer to the end so that I don't use unnecessary force that sounded really 
horrible then, unnecessary force. Just so that I use a lighter touch to blend out. Yeah, this is beautiful. Crikey, I'm going to have a hard time choosing which eye I like best. And maybe you've got kind of deep sea, sea witch and then mermaid. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. And uh, this palette so far <laughs> is proving to be extremely fun to work with. So just going back in with the brush that I used for strength, the bright pink, I'm not taking any more product and then just going gently right around the edge making sure we have a nice blend and that I have taken it right up to the brow and I am just going to use a tiny bit just to make sure we don't lose that vibrancy because this shade is just absolutely stunning and back in with the brush that we used for the purple the star and I'm just gently kind of sweepy little mini sweepy motions between the two And then just popping some NYX Glitter Primer on my lid, same as the other eye. What do I want to do? I'm actually first going to go into Temperance, the blue shimmer and pop this one on the outer part here this is a nice shade I do want to try one of the purples just to see if I can pick them up on the brush the ones that um, the ones that have hard pan I will work on that outer edge in a bit and then I'm going into if I can find did I use that one? yep um, and I'm going to try going in with the high priestess and for that I'm just going to use a Miali Beauty brush, flat one. Um, unfortunately you can't get hold of these anymore because uh, Miali Beauty has closed down sadly. And then just placing this, yeah. Okay, so actually swishing my brush around in there has worked mostly 
and it is going on the eye beautiful i am getting some fallout but i haven't done my base yet and also i'm packing it on the brush okay so that is beautiful oh i like that a lot I really like that a lot. Okay, and then for the inner parts of my nope, of my lid, I am going in with where am I? Right, I am going to try using the magician. I've just had a kind of scrape around with the brush so i just want to see what that looks like oh okay so yes they still pick up on a brush just they don't like to be swatched so there is that yeah I do love this shade and it's a slightly sticky formula slightly creamy but I don't know how else you'd describe it yeah looking great so back in with the middle shade the purple just to dab over and then also the blue so I don't want to lose that I'm going to add a little bit more of that blue because I think it got lost and back into the purple and back into the inner one Ooh. okay right so I'm going to go into the star, which is the deep purple map, or the first purple map we used. And I'm just going to take that right in the outer edge there. I think I do want to add just a smudge of black. So going into the black, the Emperor, I'm going to use this little brush here. It's one of my favorites. Um, this is the ME2 from Made by Mitchell and it is the perfect brush for just if you want to deepen without overdoing it and turning it black. Look at that. There's also a brush which does exactly the same thing from Cosmic Brushes which is another UK indie brand. so for any reason you didn't want to support made by mitchell there is where's it gone there is this one here from cosmic brushes and this one also has the fun inner as well but this brush is a favorite i do need to film my favorite brushes video if I have time and I feel up to it after this, I might do it. But we shall see. Oh, beautiful. And then the purple, just going back around the edge there. Add just a touch. And then the pink. Oh, I'm just, I've become a perfectionist when it comes to uh, eyeshadow and blending. Yeah. If I am not satisfied with the outcome, it just feels like there was no point in doing it. Oh dear. 
Ooh. Well, that came out different to uh, a bit more of the black right in this outer area here. Okay. All right. I'm happy with how that's looking so far. I'm going to head off, finish my face. I'll try to remember to leave the lash line and then I'll be back with you. So uh, don't go anywhere. Okay, guys. So here are the finished looks. So look number one and look number two. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you prefer look one? or look two and uh yeah let's uh let's crack on with telling you what else i've popped on my face so for contour stroke bronzing i use the nabla skin bronzing this is in the shade june it's a really perfect perfect shade for my skin tone um amazing formula uh, the blush i went in with was the nabla skin glazing in the shade lola and this is what she looks like again amazing formula the highlighter i went in with is one of the kaleidos space age highlighters this one is mars melter and this is what she looks like absolutely stunning absolutely stunning eyes so the mascara i used was the madeja lash mascara from madage beauty the lashes I went in with are from Altitude Cosmetics, they're in the style baddie. To stick my lashes on I use the Altitude Cosmetics Catitude, it is the 2 in 1 liner and lash adhesive, it's amazing. Um, I tight lined with the Ciate London Chisel Eyeliner um, and I also went over that part of the little wings just so that it wasn't sticky um in my waterline i use the colourpop cream gel liner this one is in the shade insomniac i believe my eyesight's terrible and finally on my lips i have the <laughs> i can't speak the lime crime matte velveteens in the shade cement i have been dying to find the perfect look for this lipstick and I think either one of these is it I don't know you tell me so yes my first impressions of the Oracle palette from Spellbound Beauty or well, the packaging you cannot deny it, is beautiful absolutely beautiful and the color story is stunning the mattes perform absolutely beautifully the shimmers whilst swatching i did hit hit get a hard pan in a couple of the shades but i did use this one with a brush and although i had to dig my brush in a bit as you saw it worked beautifully on the eyes so this one so the blue the green the bronzy the red and the pink all of those swatched with no issues whatsoever so i don't know whether maybe i have in my palette just they're, they're a bit hard to press those shades um but anyways overall i am so happy with it the shimmers i don't know these ones look a little bit more metallic the red i i think it's beautiful i think it is really beautiful i am still on the hunt for that real sparkly ruby red but this one is a really good red shimmer don't get me wrong um so yeah overall i am super happy that i have this palette and i am looking forward to seeing what the future holds for spellbound beauty if you have liked this video please do give it a like thumbs up that really helps me out if you are new around here if you love colorful makeup if you love 
supporting indie brands and discovering indie brands that maybe you hadn't heard of before and also just to let you know everything I use on my channel is cruelty free so uh, yeah no little fairies were harmed in the making of these looks so yes if that sounds like something you'd be interested in then please do hit the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.